As many of you know, for many years, I tried to warn America about what would later become the society that we are unfortunately stuck living in right now. I even wrote a whole book called Liberalism Find a Cure, but unfortunately the pandemic got even worse, and now we're stuck in the Idiocracy Twilight Zone crossover. I primarily used YouTube, often employing satire, and conducted various experiments like the one I did back in 2016, asking Americans if they would support allowing illegal aliens to vote in the presidential election that year. Quick signature to support the illegal aliens to help them be able to vote this election. Sure. Just trying to stop Donald Trump any way we can, so by getting the illegal aliens... Yeah, oh, birth. I was supposed to print? Okay, you can print there then, I guess. Just trying to get the illegal aliens allowed to vote this election to stop Donald Trump, so we figure desperate times call for desperate measures. Thank you for supporting that. And here we are in 2021 where we're on track to have more than 2 million future Democrat voters flood across the U.S.-Mexico border by the end of the year, who old Joe will most likely grant amnesty to and citizenship before the midterm elections next year. And the New York Times just published this op-ed titled, There's No Good Reason You Have to Be a Citizen to Vote. And when I did the white privilege tax petition, asking people if they would support taxing the income of white people at a higher rate than that of other races, and then giving that money to non-whites, a lot of people thought that I was just joking, but I was trying to warn you again about what was coming just around the corner. The, the white privilege tax, just yeah. a small 1% on the Caucasians to help fund programs in the minority community. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take that silver spoon out of the white people's yeah. mouths. We're gonna put it back into yours. Appreciate it, man. You guys deserve yeah. that. Aren't you white, dude? Yeah, but you know what? I <laughs> I have enjoyed the white privilege myself, so I'm trying to give back to the African-American community with the white privilege tax. Thanks, so, man, appreciate thank that. Thank you, appreciate that. All right. But I figured that wasn't the only kind of reparations that the Democrats would be willing to hand out one day. And so I did an experiment on, uh, well, <laughs> have a look. It's $1,000 a month, um, like an allowance, a gift to, to them, just to, just to help treat them better. You know, so we, we needed a couple more signatures. Did you support the, the lesbian and gay reparations? Yeah, thank you so much. It's just a uh, birth date there and a signature. It's, there's enough tax dollars floating around out there. The, the lesbians and gays can get an extra thousand dollars a month from us. Thank you so much. Then years later, when Elizabeth Warren was running for president in 2020, she literally made gay reparations part of her campaign platform. By the way, I did not give the Democrats these ideas. I have an ability to be able to detect patterns, and I can see where those patterns are leading, and I tried to warn everybody. And a lot of you said in the comments of yesterday's video that if watermelon does get banned in the future, that you're going to blame me. It's still not my fault. I just have my finger on the pulse of what these lunatics are going to do next. Did you see that story like four years ago about the firefighter in Detroit who got fired because he brought a watermelon to work? He got transferred to a new station, and the station was in Detroit, which has a lot of a certain demographic, and he was white, and so they literally fired him for bringing watermelon because they said he was racist. I also predicted that the Democrats would soon openly embrace Marxism, like this 2013 video shows. We're just gathering the, the signatures to get Karl Marx on the presidential ballot since Obama's been uh, working with him and applying his philosophy. We figure will get Karl Marx to become the next president on the 2016 right. ballot. So we're just gathering signatures showing people will support Karl Marx for president. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Now we have Alexander Ocasio-Cortez and other squad members who are openly Marxist seated members of Congress. And if they're successful in overthrowing the United States of America, you know what else is going to happen, don't you? We help to support banning the American flag. We're issuing a new new American flag. Hold on. You can understand a lot of people are offended by the uh, Yeah, a lot of people a lot of, a lot of people are offended by the American flag. It has a history of oppression and imperialism and uh, birthday there to support issuing a new American flag for the new world order. I think it's about time we do that, wouldn't you agree? Maybe something with like an all-seeing eye and a pyramid on it or just something to represent the New World Order. Thank you for supporting that. Hi, brother. That video is six years old, from 2015, before Colin Kaepernick mainstreamed hating the American flag and before the Marxists 
started tearing down old American monuments. If you missed those great episodes and others, there's a playlist called Petitions for Crazy Things on my YouTube homepage, which contains a list of about 40 different episodes. Not to mention an additional playlist with over 80 different episodes of Man on the Street interviews. And of course, there's a new one coming up on Monday, so you definitely want to come back and stay tuned for that. And you should probably order your Arrest Dr. Fauci shirt before it gets banned, because you know my track record on these things. And like all of my designs, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.